be showing you how you can drive productivity and save time with our new custom object tools, including our new data importer, dynamic lookup filters, and object triggers. In this scenario, I'm working with a property management firm that stores our units as custom objects. They acquired a new building, so we'll need to add those new units to Zendesk so we can start helping out tenants as soon as possible. To start, let's go ahead and create some object records in bulk. Using the guidelines provided by Zendesk, I have prepared a CSV of data with all of our new rental information. And because I already have a custom object for units, I can go directly to the data importer. This is where I'll opt to create new records, where I'll also upload my file, and where I'll confirm the information is correctly mapped. With that, let's go ahead and kick off that import. Now, if I happen to notice I uploaded the wrong CSV, I can always follow these steps to update records in bulk as well. But now that we do have this data ready to go, let's make sure agents only see the units that have been assigned to the ticket submitter. In this case, units have already been added as a ticket lookup field. But with the dynamic filters, we can make sure that the first units that agents see are the units that are assigned to the primary or secondary tenant. This is especially helpful for teams like the maintenance team who may not need to see all of these units. But with this filter, rather than seeing all of these units, the only ones they'll see are the units assigned to Annika. And to keep all of this unit information up to date, we can take advantage of object triggers. For example, we have a trigger here that makes sure Whenever a primary tenant is added to a record, the status of the unit is changed from available to rented. This saves agents an extra step in the process, and now you can drive productivity and save more time with your custom objects.